Today's video is brought to you by eWin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our eWin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Big Banana has a question. He says, recording my streams in 1440p and my final my file sizes get up to 70 gigs plus. When I build my new PC, should I get 64 gigs of RAM to edit them or more? You streaming, editing videos? Let me put it this way. Ooh. My eight core 9900K has 64 gigs of RAM and I don't edit videos on it. My upcoming 5950X will have 128 gigs of RAM and I'm not editing videos on it either. I am not a typical user. I am a very high-end extreme user, so take that with a grain of salt. Having said that, I will absolutely use more than 64 gigs of RAM on that machine doing what it does. Which is like all the things. I have lots of multitasking going on, lots of programs open, lots of stuff going on. So here's the thought for you. What's your budget? How long do you want it to last? And do you want to have to upgrade it midway through, or do you just want to buy what you need now and be done with it? Because if you're building a Ryzen 9 5950X and you want it to last for three plus years, 128 gigs of RAM is not insane. And then you're done. You just don't have to do any more. You just, that's it. You're, you're good. If you put 64 in it, then you can be sitting here 18 months from now going, should I? Oh, I guess I should. Wait, do I buy another 64 and try to match it? Do I sell my 64 and buy 128? Do, is it gonna work? Maybe we should call um, Tech Peace of Mind. Tech University Peace of Mind. <laughs> Do you want peace of mind with your PC or now, not? Now, if you're building a lower end PC, that's a different conversation. I think 128 gigs on a 5800X is ridiculous. So it depends upon what you're doing and how. The higher level the rest of your machine, the more you should take everything with it in order to build a balanced machine. Next. Mike, thank you so much for the kind support. Yes, putting 64 gigs of RAM is the same as 32 gigs. Just get a 64 gig kit and you're good. Mixing RAM can be hit and miss. Ideally, you buy all your RAM at the same time. When I upgraded my 9900K at home from 32 to 64, I didn't add 32. I took my 32 kit out and I put a brand new 64 kit in. Now. I am in the fortunate position that I have other machines. I trickle down my upgrades. So I'll take that 32 out and put it in a machine that had 16 and take that 16 out. Not everybody's in that position. It's, it's, I put the 64 in, turn the computer on and it just works. And it's just, it's so nice to have it work the first time, every time without any fuss whatsoever. It sucks fussing with your computer. I guess unless you want a hobby and it's... Some people want to. Mm. All right, Dr. Charlie, hola, thank you for the direct support, we appreciate it. He says, hello Tech and Rogue, need a walk. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a Ryzen 7 2700 at 3000 megahertz. He's got a 1080 Ti. It's a good PC, but I think if I add more RAM, will I have a Wii experience? Or do I need a whole new PC for play and home office? I would add another 16 gigs. It's not that expensive. It's 50 to $60 to add another 16 gigs. It's nice. You have an eight core machine and a 1080 Ti. You barely have more RAM than your video card has VRAM. Mm -hmm. I would add another 16 gigs. Now he's got 16 gigs of 3000. He's Correct. got a 2700. If you buy the same speed and specs, of your current RAM, CL rating, etc. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same brand since even if you buy the same brand, it may have different memory ICs underneath. It should work. Worst case, you may have to slow the RAM down to 2666, which isn't gonna make a big deal on a 2700. I mean, it'd be nice, but just be aware that if you buy another 16, it may or may not be stable at 3000 what he said. If at all possible, you will save yourself a world of headaches 
if you can take that 16 gig kit out, put a 32 gig kit in and use that 16 for something else. That, that just, that alleviates so many potential issues. It does. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.